Not ready to take on those ghouls after all? GNR, three dollars. How may I serve you, master? Good to see you.
inspirational quotes from the mouth of your president, John Henry Eaton, straight to your heart. There never was a time, in my opinion, some way could not be found to prevent the drawing of the sword. You're listening to Enclave Radio. I'm John Henry Eaton, president of the Enclave, president of America, president of your heart. Smell the stink. Welcome home. Sir? Ready to take on those ghouls after all? Hey, local, shouldn't you be banging rocks together or something?
for Lucky Harith is here to... A wanderer without a weapon doesn't last long. It's my pleasure to offer hot death in a variety of exciting flavors. Take your pick. any visitors my 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 you certainly do look a little bit worn out from your travels oh just look at my terrible manners I'm Agatha it's so nice to meet you now what brings you all the way out here oh, don't worry about me I'm just fine out here my husband rest his poor soul saw to it that our house was well protected from the elements and the inhabitants of the wastes. Well, that's kind of you to say. Yes, he's gone. After he built this place, we spent many happy years together. We decided to cut off contact with the outside world and just depend on each other for comfort and company. Oh, oh goodness, no. I have a supply caravan that passes here maybe once a week. I trade with him for whatever I need, and I stock up enough till they return. Besides shelter, well, I offer something in the way of entertainment. I play songs on my homemade violin, and people trade me goods. If not in person, I use my husband's old radio set. The men in the caravan say it keeps their morale up on lonely nights in the wasteland. Oh, you are a clever one. Yes, that's exactly the problem that I have with it. It doesn't quite play all of the notes correctly, and I have to constantly tinker with it. Yes, my husband was very proud of the setup. He tinkered with that thing for years to get it working. I've tried to use it to get whatever I need, but I've never gotten a reply. Thank you. Well, my husband had his hobbies. I'm afraid mine was making that sorry instrument. I only wish I could replace it with something better. Well, now that you mention it, um, yes, there is. My training depends on my violin. Without it, I have nothing to play, no way to make music. If you can bring me a violin, a better one, I'd feel much more secure. Yes, very sad, isn't it? Sad to think that no more musical instruments will ever be made the old way ever again. <sighs> well, fortunately, I know where perhaps the last real violin in the world exists. If you give me your word that you will recover it, I will tell you more. You have a point. Perhaps I've been neglecting needs that you might have and being selfish. I have a small amount of ammunition that my husband left behind. A box of odds and ends. I don't think I've opened it in years. If you do this for me, you're welcome to take whatever you need. Oh, I don't think I've been this happy in years. As promised, Here's the key to the ammunition box. It's right under the radio table. Before you leave, I have some information that may help you. At least a place to begin. It all starts with my great-great-grandmother Hilda back in 2077, before the bombs fell. Of a kind, yes. 
Hilda sent a good deal of letters to my great-grandmother Mary, who passed them on, and so forth. I suppose the correspondence could be considered a diary of sorts. It certainly is a long time. That precious instrument has been through a lot. Anyway, Hilda was quite a special woman, classically trained and exceptionally talented at the violin. Her pride and joy was her Stradivarius violin. I can only imagine how exquisite this instrument must have been. When the war reared its head, she was invited by Vault Tech into Vault 92. They claimed the vault would be dedicated to preserving musical talent. Vault Tech was always promoting the vaults being used for the preservation of the arts and all that nonsense. Hilda couldn't pass on a chance to meet many of the other musical talents of the world, so she accepted their invitation. Then the bombs fell, the vault was sealed, and my family never heard from her again. She kept it in a special pressurized case. Inside the case is the perfect temperature and humidity for the instrument. If the case is still functioning, the Stradivarius would be in perfect shape. Hilda Stradivarius was named the Swa Stradivarius. All of them had names. That's what I want you to get. That's the catch. I have no idea where it is. I'd suggest making your way to Vault Tech headquarters in the D.C. ruins. That would be a good place to begin. Good luck! She was quite a special woman. Hilda was her name. Classically trained and exceptionally talented at the violin. Her pride and joy was her str When war reared its head, happily she acted. Not too much, I'm afraid. It was fabricated way back in 1714 by a famous Italian craftsman named Antonio Stradivari. He had made a bunch of Stradivarius violins, actually, and each one was individually named over time to identify them. They are regarded as the most outstanding instruments ever made, and no two sound alike, they say. Incredible. Since the bombs fell laying waste to most of the world, it may be safe to say that this could be the last surviving violin of its kind. Well, from my great-great-grandmother's diaries, I have deduced that she had a special pressurized case created for it. Hopefully, the Swa Stradivarius was in the case when she... Well, you know. I hope you're not thinking of doing anything dishonest. You gave me your word. Well, okay. I'm sorry. I wish I did. All I know is that Vault Tech intended it to be a protective environment for the world's musical talent. When the bombs fell, the vault was sealed and the rest is a mystery. Perhaps when you find it, you can find some sort of a record of what occurred inside. From what I gather, it's located in the ruins of D.C. I got the location from one of the supply caravans. They told me it had extremely high security and something they call a main frame inside. I'd imagine it's quite dangerous. I'd be careful if I was you. I understand. I haven't given up hope. I know you'll find it. No luck yet finding the Swa Stradivarius, eh? Careful, I don't want to be responsible for getting you killed.
Welcome home, sir. America. 
one of my inspirational quotes from the mouth of your president, John Henry Eaton. Straight to your heart. Associate with men of good quality if you esteem your own reputation. For it is better to be alone than in bad company. Greetings again, sweet America. This is President John Henry Eaton. And I'd like to chat if you've got a moment. Hey, Misty America. When I was it's a child, me, your president, up in John Henry. Hey. <laughs> gotcha! Three dog here. How's everyone doing? Oh, ho, ho. Here's the latest news. Unemployment is down. Stocks are up. And the UN has just declared global peace forever. Now the ring. Watch your manners. According to most of our reports... How may I serve you, Master? Not ready to take on those ghouls after all? Huh?
to see you alive and well, sir. Can I help you?
I'm not looking for trouble or conversation.